Uh, oh, I just said I think I passed. You think you passed? Mm. Nah. No. <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I get so much. <laughs> so much satisfaction out of saying that. <laughs> and isn't that your real what test? Are you <laughs> He's just a mock test. Hey guys, welcome to another video and today we have another mock driving test. Before we get started, like always, any of you who need help with your driving test, please check out this video for the ultimate driving course, which will definitely help you guys with your driving lessons. Hooray! So this course really filled my knowledge gaps and I became more confident. After watching some of the videos on the course, I felt really comfortable with the extra knowledge. Before I passed my driving test, I was really nervous. It really helped me have more confidence and I would take what I learned during the course into my lessons and really aid that. The videos obviously help you because you're going into that lesson knowing exactly what you're going to do and just having that knowledge just makes that lesson faster and you feel a lot better. 38 easy to understand precise videos covering every single topic required to pass the driving test. These are not just theory based, they are practical videos demonstrating everything from moving off and stopping a vehicle to all of the maneuvers and every other module required. So if you're lacking knowledge, or maybe your instructor has forgotten to cover something, or you're just not grasping a certain topic, then this course has it covered. You can watch the videos before your driving lessons, which means you'll get into the car knowing exactly what to do. This will definitely save you time on your lessons. Okay, so today the learner driver is TJ. And um, guys, for those of you who are watching the first time, TJ hasn't had any driving lessons with me. I'm meeting him for, well, not meeting him for the first time because I actually um, know him well, know his dad well. Um, but TJ is learning with one of our driving instructors from DGN, who's Ranj, quite a good instructor. And um, yeah, TJ wanted to, to do a mock test for the channel because he's got his test coming up in a few weeks and he wants to see if he's uh, ready or not. Yeah, you yeah. think you're ready? Yeah, hopefully. Okay, yeah. cool. Any parts of your driving uh, which you think you need to improve on or you mess up um, on? Yeah, just small little things that just remain in that focus. Um, but no, that's technical stuff. I'm quite quite good with it. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so how many lessons have you had roughly? Roughly about, I'd say 15. 15? Is it one hour ones or? Uh, hour and a half. Hour and a half ones. Yeah. Okay, so that's about 22, 22 and a half hours yeah, roughly? Rough, roughly, yeah. Cool. Okay, so um, have you been through the show me tell me questions? Not yet, me and, me and Ranj are supposed to go through them but... Okay cool, so I'll leave that for now, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And you've watched, you've watched some of the mock tests before, yeah? Yeah, I've watched okay. some of them. Cool, so I won't um, say anything if you do make a fault, yeah? yeah. Do, during the drive, yeah? We'll yeah. talk about the end, uh, uh, we'll talk about the faults at the end of the test, yeah? Right. Okay, but for you, uh, for those of you who are watching, any faults that um, TJ does do, any serious faults will be talked about and marked in red text, and any normal driving faults will be in amber text. Um, any questions before we start? No, no. Cool. So uh, whenever you're ready, TJ, if you could um, move off. And TJ hasn't been learning in this car. It's going to be the first time he's driving this car, so it might take a bit of time to get used to. Is your test book for Wolverhampton Test Centre? Wolverhampton, yeah. Okay, cool. So <coughs> you, you may be familiar with some of the routes I'm going to take you on, yeah? It's a lot more quiet than that. Than the other, the other, one. Car, other yeah. car. So we're going to start off by following the sat nav. Yeah, just yeah. Uh, give it a few seconds. Let the sat nav just uh, load. Oh, yeah. yeah. So whenever you're ready, if you can move off, please. When moving off from a park position, you should check the right blind spot just before moving off. TJ does check the right blind spot, but then takes a few seconds before he moves the car. He should have checked it again just before moving off, as the situation could have changed. You will arrive at your destination at 1.48 p.m. When moving off in traffic, you should check both side mirrors to look out for any cyclists. TJ checks the mirror as well before moving.
At this roundabout, we are taking the second exit, which is towards the right. So on the approach to this roundabout, TJ should have applied the right signal. He doesn't signal. Cross the roundabout, second exit. At this roundabout, we're going straight ahead, which is the second exit. On the approach, we have to select the middle lane as the left lane is for turning left. A common mistake made in this situation is not staying in the correct lane after entering the roundabout. TJ sticks to his lane well and shows good lane discipline. On this road, the speed limit is 20 miles per hour. TJ notices this and drives at the correct speed. After 200 yards, cross the roundabout, third exit. Coming up now, is TJ's first serious driving fault. At this roundabout, we are taking the third exit. If we look at the sign, the third exit is towards the right, as it's past the 12 o'clock mark. So on this roundabout, TJ should position in the right-hand lane and move over to the left after passing the second exit. But as soon as he enters the roundabout, he stays in the left-hand lane, which wasn't the correct lane for our exit. Cross the roundabout, third exit. TJ stops well at these lights. Some drivers will try and rush past when they see the lights changing. The amber light before the red actually means stop if it's safe to do so. For those of you who are regular viewers, know that I always teach you guys to select the lanes according to signs and road markings and not always rely on the sat-nav. He looks at the sat-nav and gets into the right-hand lane. But if you look at the sign, the exit that we are taking is straight ahead, so he could have used the middle lane. Luckily, the right-hand lane can also be used to go straight ahead at this roundabout. This wasn't a driving fault, but like I said earlier, always look out for the signs and markings before selecting your lane on approach to a roundabout. Cross the roundabout, third exit. At this roundabout, TJ shows good lane discipline. This right turn is on a bend. I have seen many learners position incorrectly 
by steering too much to the right instead of following the bend to get a good view of the oncoming vehicles before turning. TJ positions really well. On the approach to this right turn, TJ positions well, but doesn't notice the lorry flashing to give way. This wasn't really an issue, I just want to give you guys advice that when somebody does flash, just make sure they are doing it for you and it's safe to go before you take any action. Do not rush. Here TJ selects second gear slightly too late, so struggles to build up speed. When parking up, TJ touches the curb. Moves off well with good observations. Here we have a stop sign, so when TJ gets to the end of this junction, he should fully stop the car. But he doesn't stop, and when we discuss this at the end of the test, he admits that he didn't notice any stop sign. At the end of the road to the left. When turning right here, TJ steers too early and cuts across the other side of the road. Now I'll be asking TJ to carry out the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre. When I ask him to do the manoeuvre, he does have a slightly worried look on his face. Okay, see the silver car right here? Yeah, on this parking lot, yeah? We could use that car to carry the reverse parallel parking manoeuvre. Yeah, so pull up next to it, and then park up behind, fairly close to the curb, leaving about a car length from the front of our car and the back of that car, yeah? Okay. When pulling up next to the parked vehicle, TJ stops too soon, so this gives him less space to carry out the manoeuvre. As you will always hear me say, before reversing in any manoeuvre, you must look all around and out of the back window. But TJ doesn't observe correctly before reversing, and even during the manoeuvre, he doesn't look around enough. Be 
because of his starting position, TJ does end up further back than we would have liked, but it's not enough to get a serious fault. Now we are back at the test centre and TJ's driving instructor is parked up on our right. So we decide to call him and ask him to join us for the feedback. TJ did think that he had passed this mock test. Okay, so um, your instructor's here, Ranj. Yeah. Should we get him in the car for the result? Yeah, we can see his rea reaction as well. Yeah. Off the engine for me and take out the key. Right, let's give him a quick call, tell him to jump in the car. You alright, Ranj? Yep. Yeah, uh, um, could you uh, come in uh, for the result? Yep. No worries, Okay, you're going to be on camera here. Yeah? Oh, I don't think he knows. You don't see him camera shy. Nah, he's not. Let's get ready in case he tries to choke hold me from behind. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing, Ron? I'm good, man. You okay? Good. Just to warn you, you're on camera here. Yeah? Okay. Okay, so we just come back. Um, so we st we didn't start from here. We started from uh, Wensbury, yeah, and um, yeah, we headed towards here, and yeah, we just finished. So um, TJ, how do you think you did? Then you passed uh, or failed? It's hard to say because I know there's a couple little things I slipped up on, but okay. um, overall, I don't think I did too bad. You think you passed or failed? Uh, no, I just say I, I think I passed. You think you passed? Mm. Nah. No. Nah. No, sorry. <laughs> I don't know why I get so much <laughs> so much satisfaction out of saying that. <laughs> and isn't that your real what test? Are you eh? for? <laughs> He's just a mock test. Okay, but you know what overall your driving is is really smooth the way you approach roundabouts, your yeah. distance from parked vehicles, yeah. noticing stuff ahead. Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Yeah, really good. Um but yeah, they were uh, the first one, I'm not sure if Randy's gonna agree with me on this, but um um the one fault, yeah, mm. it was near the start, yeah, we were following, um, you're following the sat-nav, mm. yeah, so, um, you know that, Rand, you know that road that we come down, um, the one with the s speed dumps, it's in, um, where, Wensbury, it's yes. at, yeah, and then you come out by that big, funny-shaped uh, roundabout, yeah, yeah, so, following the sat-nav, it said, the seed exit, yeah, yeah, okay, it's right in the right lane. Yeah, there, so yeah, that's yeah. Gonna, so you know the sign there, yeah. If yeah. you like, you know, if you look at the signs, yeah. Yeah. So that sign there, it was like that there, just mm. there, yeah. So, which way is that? That's uh, like right in. Right, yeah. Anything after that twelve o'clock mark is classed as a right turn, yeah. Yeah. So as you enter, the, there's only one lane there when you first first approach, but it splits up into like three three lanes, yeah. Yeah. Which lane should you have been in when you once you enter the roundabout for turning right? Well, see, that's what I thought it was going to be right. Yeah. But it's, was it, it was left. Yeah, yeah you stayed, you, you, was, you were supposed to stay in the right hand lane. Yeah. Yeah, until yeah. you got to that second exit and then moved over. Yeah. But from the start, you stuck to the left. Yeah. Yeah, and that lane is for the first two exits. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. So you're in the wrong lane there as soon as you enter the roundabout. Yeah. Okay. And um, the roundabout before that, I didn't know that is a serious, but there was, it was a clear right turn, you're on the, the small island. Yeah. And you should have signaled right on approach, you didn't signal right. Mm. I didn't mark, I didn't mark that as a serious one because it didn't really affect anyone, yeah. Mm. Okay, but something like that, if there are other vehicles waiting there, mm. that could easily turn into a serious fault, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that was uh, the first one. And then the second one, 
Yeah, like you were saying, you wanna might wanna get it before before Rand might choke you or something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so then the stop sign. We came up to a stop sign. Yeah. Yeah. What are you supposed to do at a stop sign? Stop. Which stop sign was this? Did you notice we were? We, did you notice any stop sign on the way? Probably didn't notice any stop sign. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. So you almost stopped, but you didn't. You didn't fully stop the car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, at right. a stop sign, you're supposed to fully stop the car. Yeah. It was at that place. You know when I made you park up, and there was that family walking past. Yeah. The two yeah. kids and that. Yeah. So yeah. when you when you parked up, you slightly touched the gear, but then I should to move off. As soon as you moved off, I said turn left at the end of the road. That mm -hmm. was a stop sign. You oh, didn't notice right. it. No, nah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, you didn't notice yeah. the stop sign. Yeah, before that, the sharp bend and everything. You did, all, did you did all that really well. Mm. Yeah, and um, so that was your second fault, and the third and final one, uh, the parallel parking maneuver. Yeah, that was bad. <laughs> <laughs> what What was bad about it? You think? I don't know. It's just hard because uh, me and Range went through it the other day. Yeah, and it's like so. I was thinking, oh, so I need to get here. Then I do it half turn. Then when I get there, then I fall lucky once the. Yep. Handles like near the curb in the mirror, but it's, it's proper techy, man. Yeah, see, with that one, there's loads of different techniques. Like, yeah, Randall yeah. have his own technique, I love my own technique. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but I think what let you down there was your starting position. Yeah, yeah, you were, you know, when you stop, you're quite far back anyway. Mm. You should see, at least pull the level. Yeah, I was then, trying to get it, um, like lined up with the uh, front, yeah. the front wheel. Try and do that way, as you know, as you're reversing. Yeah, yeah, okay, because you don't want to put yourself in a position where you've already stopped too far back. Yeah, you didn't. You, you kind of just about did it though. Mm. Yeah, you were a bit far out from mm. the curb. And if you'd come back anymore, I would have marked that as a serious fault because there was quite a distance. Yeah, oh, yeah but you, you did like back on a distance is still okay. Yeah. Mm. Okay. So, accuracy wise, we got there in the end. Yeah. Okay. But your observations before you started racing, where should you look with any maneuver? Uh, behind. Yeah, all around. All around. So, before you started reversing, did you check all around? No, but I was doing the. Uh, <laughs> when you started, yeah. then you had a had a had a few checks. Yeah, yeah and yeah. and there was a junction on our right as well as you were doing the maneuver as well. Mm. There was a, a red car that came from the junction but went the other way, mm. and you hardly looked around that side when that vehicle was there. Yeah. Okay. So we should have stopped because that vehicle could have easily turned this way as well. Mm. Yeah. But yeah. you weren't you weren't looking at you you were focused on um, your position. Yeah, so it wasn't um, it wasn't the accuracy. It was your observations. Mm. Observations are key part of any maneuver. All right. Okay. So again, these three faults could have easily been avoidable. You <laughs> avoided, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. the first one, like the other round, that's where you turned right. You you did, you did them well. Mm. Yeah. Even when you're going straight ahead, you get your position really well. Mm. The way you approach roundabouts really good. Yeah. Um. Obviously, the stop sign one. That should have uh, been avoided. Yeah. <laughs> and then um, your observations mm. okay uh, the other thing i'd say to be slightly careful of you know when you're moving off your blind spot check yeah you do do it mm. then sometimes we take a few seconds moving off yeah check it again just before Sorry, you move yeah. yeah yeah okay mm. but yeah um hopefully these won't happen on your real test now no no i know what to work on though okay just observations and um that's yeah. pretty much the main thing. Stopping at a stop sign. Yeah, that's that's one observation. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, always be looking out for signs. Yeah. yeah. And um, you've got access to the ultimate driving course. Yeah. 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 You know the sign section, um, the independent driving. Mm. Try and look at that. Yeah, that'll help you. Like, um, you know, with which lane to select and how to look out for the signs. Mm. Yeah. You know the. Um, it's like you said, you know, when before we started this test, yeah, when I told you we were going to follow the sat like you said sometimes I don't look at the sat I just listen to you, which is good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, choose your lanes according to the sign that you see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Cool, any questions? Uh, no, I just know what to work on now. Good? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I'd, basically I think you should have no issue passing your actual driving test, yeah. Mm. Good luck for that, yeah. No, thanks. Okay, and thanks a lot for doing the mock test. Yeah. And guys, like always, um, sorry, before we got around, you, was there anything that you'd like to add? Say to no, TJ? That's all good. No, cool. I've, I'm sure we'll have plenty to say off camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I agree with that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so yeah, guys, um, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.